<laughs> hey, Sean, you got the early bird comment. Awesome. Let me get, uh, yep, I think I'm good. So, um, welcome. I think everything is good as, as it should be. Yep. 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 All right. Just, you know, like thumbs up, let me know that you can hear me and, uh, we're going to get cracking. I only have three things planned tonight because, um, two of them are kind of involved. Well, number two, the second one is a lot of steps to it, but it's going to be adorable. Um, and number three is just really cute too. They're all cute. Who am I kidding? It's just a matter of how long they're going to take me. So, hey, Marlene. Okay, so good. Everybody can hear me. And I see some eyeballs. So, let's get to it. So, welcome. Hey, Di. Hey, Dub. Um, welcome to another Thursday. Although, last week we were Wednesday. Uh, the concert was amazing, by the way. We went and saw Queen. Um, oh, we had really good seats, too. Uh, it was really it was really a good show. I've never heard uh, Adam Lambert sing before. I mean, I've heard his name, but I didn't really know who he was. Um, so I got the the talking to Tuesday night at pool about how he was um, Americans, America's top singer or something or other. I don't, I already forgot that part, but they said uh, he didn't win, but he should have. I'm like, well, he sounded amazing. Um, and apparently he's been touring with Queen for like 10 years. So awesome. Hey, Sue. Hi, Deborah. Um, so yeah, it was a really good show. I loved it. Um, so let's talk about today. Couple things. So first off, uh, welcome if you're new, if you're um, returning visitor. I love it all. So shares, likes, hearts, subscribes, do all the things. Follows if you're on Facebook. Um, Paper pumpkin. So I got two, I ended up ordering two extra of the October kit. So that is going to be the card kits that are like shaped like little houses and trees. Like they look really cute. Um, and it's going to come with uh, glitter glue. And I want to say there's eight cards. Um, so those will be delivered soon. So whoever wants them, let me know. Um, the November kit. So as soon as they run the, the subscriptions for October on the 11th, hey, Penny. Then the very next day, they start talking about November's kit. So November's kit coordinates with October's kit, but they are boxes and with like treat bags inside. I don't understand. It's probably a box that you make that is shaped. It's supposed to coordinate. So I imagine it's going to be shaped or have something to do with the house and the trees, similar to what's on the cards for this month. Um, and then a bag inside of it. But they have an add-on. So if you don't want to do boxes or treat bags, you take the contents of November's kit and you can get the add-on, which is five by seven cards. So I found that out the size. Um, and that number, I posted that on Facebook because I didn't write it, the number down on my notes. Fail. Um, but it's 20 cards and envelopes pre-printed to coordinate and they've already got glittery bits on them. Uh, and I think it was $14. So, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal for, for 20 cards and envelopes. Um, so, you know, more, you know, look on my Facebook for that and I'll, I'll probably do a blog post maybe this weekend. Um, inventory, you guys, I'm so fed up with all of this. So now there's like a whole bunch of card stock that's out and some is due in next week. Some is due in the week after. So like the 16th and the 23rd, you have to check every day because a lot of stuff is coming in early. For instance, the trucking along bundle that I'm using tonight is back in stock. Um, when it came back in stock last week, I think I started telling people like, get it while it's here. Cause I don't know how long it's going to last. Well then I think it was maybe Monday, the stamp set went out and that wasn't, it had a date of like a couple weeks from now that it would be back in. Well, as of today, it's back in. <sighs> so, and I know customers can't see like the dates, you know, that they're expected, I have emailed Stampin' Up and it would probably help if like everybody emailed them. I want them to make that availability date available on the customer side of how of the thing, you know, so that everybody can see when to expect it back. Cause it sucks. Like not everybody has time to check it every day and we don't want to miss things. Um, and then they're, you know, they're getting things in sooner than expected, which is good in the scheme of things. But when you're trying to keep track of when things are coming and going, like, it's crazy. So 
I think um, if other people could email demonstrator support, it's ds at stampinup.com and say, please add the dates to the website for back order stuff. So I'd like to be able to order and they can back order. Yeah. It's, they're never going to do that again, Penny, I think, because they run into too many. It costs them too much for shipping because they have to pay shipping twice, even though I feel like we feel like we're getting reamed on shipping anyway because it's so high. But it's like that everywhere. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it comes when it comes. Yeah, or like hold the order until everything's there. You know, Club Scrap does that. They'll hold. I can order stuff today and say just ship it with next month's kit, and they hold everything. So I don't know. They need to hear these suggestions for sure. So all that. Okay. So um, my inventory gripes aside, uh, let's get to it. So let's go down here. So yeah, we're going to use the trucking along bundle. So I've got the punch and the stamp and we're going to make three things and you're going to love them. All right. So first one, you're going to need a straw, and I was hoping that I had a paper straw, which I did. I didn't realize I was holding on to this. So we want to cut, um, basically, we need this straw to be, it's going to go on the back of our truck that we're going to die cut or punch out. So I'm going to make it the same size. I think paper because, or I'm recommending paper because I think that's going to glue onto the cardstock better. All right, I wasn't sure how plastic would stay as far as glue. So I'm going to save the rest of this paper straw. Like not everybody around here has paper straws. So, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'll try the plastic one. All right, so we're going to make some kind of a slider card, but it's not going to be uh, what I've done before. All right, so we're going to have... And I've seen plenty of people who have done these with different scenes in the background. I'm making mine easy and going to have just a designer paper scene. So for this one, we're going to do uh, early espresso. Ooh, what's that mark on there? I guess that's going to get covered up. Early espresso, five and a half by eight and a half. And I score that at four and a quarter. Then I cut copper clay, four by five and a quarter. Hey, Carol. And then I cut my designer paper three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And as always, it's going to take me a couple days to get my blog updated, but I'll have all the measurements for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. Actually, let me glue this bit on first. So this was like part of what I cut off the side. And I thought, well, I'll just glue this along the bottom because we're going to have our truck kind of going over here. Actually, it's going to end up about here a little bit. I just want to add this because I think it's pretty. It doesn't really, it's not really like a road and a, and the, you know, sky. It's not a realistic tromp through the trees or little trip. Okay, so let's do that. And the reason I glued this on first was in case it hung over a little bit. And it does. See that teeny tiny little. Oop, get rid of that, that little smidge. All right, now I'm going to glue this on to the copper clay. Yeah, you could stamp the whole scene, like make a sunrise and the ground cover and all that. But I thought, um, hello, I have all this beautiful paper. Let's just do it. Use this. And I didn't want to cut too much of that sunlight off. So, man, this is pretty just in and of itself. All right. I don't like that mark, but eh, I'm going to do it. All right. So we're not attaching this now. Let's stamp our truck. Oh, and I've got a piece of white for the inside, four by five and a quarter. Let me just go ahead and put that in here. So yeah, I forget the name of it. I'm calling this a slider, but it's different from other sliders that we've done. Definitely not doing any more spinner cards for a while. All right, so that's that. Now let's stamp our truck. So what we decided is it's easier to stamp the base first and then add the um, the outline and then the tires. So let me check my notes. What color? I didn't put down here what color I want to do this truck in. 
Hmm, I think copper clay. Why not? That looks kind of rustish. All right, let's do that. Mmm, pretty. What I've found with some of my ink pads that are really juicy, like, for instance, my Real Red, which is A, an old style from a couple years ago that has, like, um, the ink is real foamy in it, so it gets a lot of bubbles and foam. I never switched over to the new one because I just didn't want to buy a new one. Um, but I'll show you later how those bubbles, that really affects it. But if your ink pad is too juicy, you're not going to get some of these white lines in here. I mean, that's just how it goes, right? Um, but this new one seemed like that was just the right amount of ink. All right, so then let's do um, the outline in black. I suppose I could do a tone on tone, but I really want you to see the difference. So, all right, let me, I have to bring this a little closer to my face. So I have found um, since last week when I first stamped this for the very first time, hey, Carol, that if I try to line up these, the tires, those white marks, I get it like perfect. So keep that in mind. Like you'll, when you stamp it and you're, you know, going down here, you'll see what I mean. That doesn't look like it's really clean, clean. All right. And then let's put the tires. Now, when I'm lining up the tires last week, I got it like by accident, you know, perfectly. But now that I've played with it just a little bit more, um, if you try to line up the two dots with the insides of the tires, that's it. That's your sweet spot. Mmm. Perfect. All right. Let's clean these off. Uh, now, I did want to put... Oh, and you know what? I put it away. I guess I'm not going to put anything in this truck. I think I was going to put flowers, but then I can't punch it out. So we're just going to punch this and go with it. It's just going to be a truck by itself. All right. But you want, if you wanted to put whatever you, you know, have in it. And of course, if you don't have this truck set, if you have the old loads of love or even the um, Christmas farmhouse, that was the dies. Uh, that's going to work too. So, all right. Now I'm going to punch a second one to layer it because I just want the truck body to have a little bit more stability. So I'm just going to double that up and I'm going to glue it on here. And then we're going to glue our straw on the back of here. So layer these up and it's again, it's just to make it a little bit stronger. All right. Mm, I like that. Ah, uh, this is cute, 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 cute. Okay, now this is going to slide along on our straw and some string. So I'm going to be using um, linen thread. So let's get this straw glued on here. So I cut it to where it just fits, you know, I could have gone a little bit further out, but there's no point really. So let's put some glue on here and give that some time to dry. And I think you want this straw to be as straight as you can. Okay, that looks good. All right, now let's just hold this up. So we want to make our string. I kind of want this to go like here. Let me get a pencil. I'm going to make marks like right here and right here. Okay. So we want to cut holes. And I'm going to use... This was the smallest hole punch that I had, and I think it's like an eighth of an inch. I think ideally a sixteenth inch. Hey, Gail, I think a sixteenth inch hole punch would be better, um, but we're going to use what I have. All right, so let me get in here. And I don't like it super close to the edge. And I just realized I didn't go. I'm going to have to erase those pencil marks because I made them too close to the edge. All right. Oh, and you guys, so many accessories are out. I was just thinking, uh, what doodads am I going to put on this? Everything is out. It's crazy. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised uh, because of the free shipping. That's, you know, people load up on things. 
which is what we all want to do. I think I'm going to use some of these guys. I haven't used them ever. Neutrals, adhesive back sequins. All right, that'll be later. Okay, so we're going to fish our linen thread, and I'm going to tie a bow over here. So mm, I want it to come up here, across, and then back. So let's go up through the bottom. And I'm just measuring this right now. Uh, because we have to get our truck on there. And this is going to go back here. And then I want plenty of room to tie a bow. So let's go like right there. That'll be plenty. All right. I can fish this through the backside. I think this glue should be pretty set on that paper straw. All right. I'm just going to even these out. Okay. So. Our linen thread, see how it's coming up through, goes across the back and up through both holes. So now, look at that. That feels pretty good already. So let's just fish this end through this straw. And I don't think it's going to slide like, like the spinner cards. Like, I don't think it's going to go too fast on its own, but we'll be able to slide it. Oh, so cute. So it'll go like, we'll be able to move it back and forth. All right, now I don't want to tie this super tight. Oh, you know what? I have to come around. I have to take the left linen thread, put it back through this hole so I can tie it on the end. All right, let me get this. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so it kind of like has a good spot. I don't want the, you know, I didn't want to tie the bow right there. Oh, this is cute. It's a leaner though. Hmm. I'm okay with it. All right, so I'm going to tie a knot first. And then tie my bow. And then we're going to pop this layer up onto our card base. And I've seen them where they will cover these holes with a tree. Like they'll, I'm sorry, I was holding that um, at an angle. So, yeah, I'm not too thrilled with the, I probably should have put my straw up taller. But it's fine. Oh, it does slide. Look at that. Um, but people were stamping trees and covering these holes, but I'm not too concerned about that. This is cute. Definitely works better than a spinner. So next time I might, so you see how this is floppy? Actually, is that a terrible angle? There you can see. I might put the straw like behind the window and have it. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's just redo this. I'll just cut this, cut this off because I'm not untying that knot for sure. Let's add another little piece. And then this piece of straw will keep it bumped up. Okay, you guys. We're figuring this out because this is just a little too top heavy. So let's cut a tiny little bit. Oh, that is pretty strong. Okay, and we'll do this right here. Get our teeny tiny little piece of paper straw. And I want that to be straight. Okay, that looks straight. Good, good, good. All right, let me get my linen thread again. Of course, I tossed it over to the side. Yeah, this is nice because that'll keep it um, in place. Like, so then it won't be still at an angle. All right, cool. I like it. Not as I intended, but that's okay. All right. So I'm going to come up from the back over around. That's probably more than I need. Skinny cocktail straws. Mmm, that would probably work. And again, if they're plastic, you would just have to see if the glue is going to stick to them. 
interesting. Yeah. All right, let's do that. So I'm pulling that back out so I can get my this guy on. That seems okay. Let's fish this through. I think any of the straws, it's fine. It's just a matter of um, having this to be all one height, you know? So it's, when I put the straw in the middle, it's floppy. But yeah, I think this other straw would work, like the cocktail straw, like you said. All right, let's do that. How did I have this now? Yeah, because I want this to, uh, I want this back one to come through up here. Okay, and now I will tie it. For my next trick, I'm going to tie a knot. All right, and then we'll tie it in a bow. And I like this already because I don't know. Can you see how that's more even? Actually, let's look at it that way. Yeah, from the side, it looks kind of junky, but from the front, it looks amazing. All right, let's do that. And mm, let's trim some of these. Yeah, I will have to maybe um, snag a cocktail straw from the bar next week and see. But I'm liking that. Cute, cute, cute. Ah, uh, totally adorable. All right, now let's do some foam on the back. And let's just do this all the way across. And then how about one more right down the middle? So this card's really going to have a lot of dimension between this foam and then the straw itself that is popping our truck up. Oh, so cute. All right, let's do, I gotta check time, that one. The second card is really gonna take um, more time. But I love this one. Oh, so cute. All right, and let's do that. Oh, neat. Totally cute. Now, I'm going to leave a greeting off, but I'm probably going to put a greeting like over here. Um, I am going to put my gems on because I don't know. I really want to do probably a birthday. You know what? No, let's just do it. So I've been using this stamp recently. I love this. I forget the name of the set that it came from. Um, because I took them out and I have them in a basket. Let's do, let's do this in, we'll do this in the copper clay. And then I'll punch out a scrap of uh, early espresso. All right. But yeah, I forget the name of this one. But I like it because it fits in the double oval punch. And that makes me very happy. All right, let's do that. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Cute. Oh, and you know what? I totally forgot to show you guys some cards from this weekend and this week. I'll get to that at the end. I made a couple of cute ones on World Card Making Day. Um, I spent the day watching Craft Roulette. And they had, um, I want to say... Actually, I don't even know how many. They had six hours, six, six and a half hours of different people that came and demoed different cards and techniques. And it was cool. It was, uh, yeah, about six and six and a half hours. But I just made a couple cards while I was watching them and worked on some other stuff. It was good for the background, you know, but they had some really fun people. All right, let's do that. Yeah, I don't remember this. It had happy birthday. It had just because, um, especially for you and something else. Oh, and a thank you. All right. Oh, cute. Now, I'm not popping this up because 
you know, there's already so much other stuff popped up on this card. Oh yeah, I love that. And then let's do some of these jemmies. So these, mmm, I like all of these colors. Ooh, I think I'm going to go with some of the brown ones. Let's get this whole punch out of the way. So let's do, like, I can do one there. Actually, I can do two there. One right there. And I'm going to do big one. Little one. And there's only two sizes of each. And then we'll do another big one over here. And I know that's kind of close to the uh, the linen thread and all that. But mm, I like it. Oh, and you know what else we need real quick is a little Wink Stella in this uh, window. And the back window. I just realized that's a back window. Nice. Okay. So that's, I've got to figure out what the name is, but it's like straw slider or something like that. I don't know. I'm frozen. Am I frozen for everybody? Cause mine is not, um, let me see. No, mine isn't frozen. Hey Vicki, how are you? All right. Am I frozen? Not frozen for you, Sean. Okay, cool. Shoo. All right. Let me put these gems away and we're going to work on the next one. So the next one I did a quite a bit of stamping and cutting ahead just because it's a lot of different pieces and parts. Oh, oh man. I hate when I, the sticks. Deborah, not frozen. Die. Good on your end. Good. All right. Oh, whoops. just going to rip that adhesive off of there. All right. Let's do, get that out of the way. Um, what else do I need out of the way? I need to flip my, mm, that is so cute. All right. Next one. Um, we're going to make a, this is going to be a slim line. And I think in the, in the ad, I had posted like a bunch of the three different colored trucks. So I was going to just die cut the trucks and then put them on my card. But then I'm like, no, that's, we got to stamp them. So these are just scratch pieces because I need to make a gully for something. So I'll show you that. Uh, so I stamped my trucks ahead of time. Now this is what I mean. If your pad is way too juicy, see how you, I lost like all the lines there. And then this one ended up okay, but then I smeared it with my hand. I didn't wait long enough. Um, but this was with the red, like I wiped everything off and then just barely tapped it. And I still, I don't have a whole lot of the white space, but enough. Um, so we've got Cajun Craze, Wild Wheat, and Real Red. All right. Then I've got a little pumpkin that I punched out. I've got some trees and then a little cluster of flowers. We're going to use those later. Um, I might use that. So let's punch these out. And of course, if you don't have the punch, you can just hand cut. All right. So whatever truck you have, if you don't have a punch or a die for it, you're just going to be hand cutting. Oh, is this? All right, good. And then we'll do the real one or the real red one. So this idea actually came from Jamie Gibbs, who showed me a t-shirt on, I don't know, whatever website came up in her feed. Uh, and I was like, that would be a really cute card. So this is going to be that card. So it's a slim line because I needed room for all three of these um, trucks. So basically we're going to have like this. All right, and then we're going to have words under here. So we've got our slimline base, wild wheat. And when I didn't score this, this is seven by eight and a half because I like my um, slim lines to be three and a half by eight and a half. So seven by eight and a half. And I'm going to score it at three and a half. 
and this size fits um i've got some business envelopes i think that these fit but you know can always make whatever size we need all right so i'm gonna fold that so again wild wheat you could use whatever color so if you don't have wild wheat pick a different yellow if you're gonna you know copy this all right then we've got the inside is basic white this will be three and a quarter by eight and a quarter okay now good marlene All right, so I'm just going to put that on the inside. And there we go. This really, it cracks me up when uh, I think about this card. And I'm not even finished making it. <laughs> All right, then I've got a piece of basic black, same um, three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of white, three by eight. So I don't normally use this big of a border, but it was easy math. All right. So um, let's put this away for now. So like I said, our plan is to have the trucks here. Um, what we're going to do is bring in two greeting sets and spell out some words. So I'm using... Biggest Wish, this is in the annual catalog. We've had this for, I don't know, two years or so. I can't remember. And then More Wishes. This is new from the holiday catalog. I love it. I love the Christmas, the New Year, the wishes, the, you know, for Valentine's or wedding cards or anniversary, whatever. But I love these fonts. So we're going to use uh, some of the big words, all right? And you're going to see as we put this together. So my colors, I'm going to use the same colors as the trucks, wild wheat, real red and Cajun craze. All right. Now I want to keep my, I've got my stamps mounted and I want to keep it. Um, I'm going to have to drag this a little bit closer. I want a border. All right. So I need kind of a gully to, um, see how far up I can stamp. All right. So I want to kind of have this like right here. All right. So I'm going to use a little bit of tape that this shouldn't be permanent. Uh, let's just do that and that. So this is just to keep me on track. All right. With the space. Oh, and you know what? Let's just put this here for There we go. So I'm going to line up my words. Okay. Now I want to measure, because I'm going to start in the middle. Um, and this is eight inches. So I need to mark at four inches. And I'm going to mark on my blue piece. And you don't have to start in the middle if you don't want. So my original plan was just to use a like a two by six scrap and start at the left with my words and keep going. But then I was like, oh, no, because then I'll have to cut that and mount it, like layer it. Ooh, this doesn't even look straight. So I figure I'm just going to start in the middle and go with it. All right. Now we're going to spell out. I'm not going to um, share that with you right now. You're just going to see the magic. So I'm going to start with the thanks. And... I have this in a dark color so that I can see through the stamps, all right? Because I want to get this as close as I can. I want all these letters to line up, all right? So I want the middle to be like between the H and the A, and I really have to bring this closer to my face, all right? Let's go right there. Okay. I'm going to hold that. So... Having this a dark color allowed me to get these letters like right up on it. So you see, can you see how close that is? There's really, I thought I almost messed it up. There's just a teensy little border up there. All right. And that's really just what I can see. All right. We're going to say, thanks. And then I'm going to go to, and I'm going to put these away, clean my area. I'm going to go to Cajun Craze, and I'm going to do the hello, but I only want to ink up the low. 
So just carefully ink that up. See how I don't have it on any of the other words? All right, and now, you know what? I should probably stand up. How about that? So now I'm going to go this way. And again, I'm trying to get that. And I can tell already. I might. This plan was a good idea. <gasps> okay, it worked. Um, I was going to say, it might not work every time. All right, so help. Low. And then we're going to go to happy and I'm going to ink up just the H and the A. This would be a really easier project to do with die cuts because then you're just placing your, your die cut letters. All right. And then we're going to come over here. Ooh, all right, that's a little bit lower, but it's working. All right, so we're done with Cajun Craze. And then we're going to come in with the red and with the Christmas. And I just want the moss. All right, and let's hope for the best on this. and hope I don't get a lot of ink. Oh my God. Ugh. All right. Well, I'm not redoing it, um, but you get the idea. All right. Now we're going to stamp happy in a smaller font. Happy Hallow Thanksmas. It was the cutest t-shirt. And when Jamie sees that, she's going to be like, ah, so cute. So you see like the little whoopsies? I might have to turn those into ornaments or something. But all right, let's peel this up and hope it didn't start to really stick. All right, let me get my, mm, I'm gonna need my eraser. Hold please. You know, my adhesive eraser. So we're gonna do happy Hello, thanks, miss, but we're not done yet. All right, we're going to do the happy later. So here we're going to have our trucks. Oh, my God, they're so cute. So I stamped a little pumpkin to put in the back of this guy. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom of this pumpkin. And he's going to take a ride in the back of this truck. Penny, do I have a white paint pen? Oh, that's a good idea. I have, um, I have something. Yes. Yes. Good idea. Uh, then these are the flowers and these all the pumpkins came from the pick a patch. These flowers came from the trucking along and then the tree came from trucking along. Yeah. I have a white Sharpie and then I have a white, you're right, like a pen of some kind that I got. Jeez, I don't even know who I got it from. But it was to make, yeah, to cover things up. And I think it is actually paint. So I didn't uh, tell you that. When I cut that flower out, I left a little tab at the bottom so that I could glue it to my truck. All right. And that, oh, man, that's cute. Now, the, the trees. So I stamped a couple of different trees and decided to go with this one. Um. This one here, I did the outline in garden green, and then I stamped the tree with old olive. And let me see. Uh, it shows up a little bit. And then this was old olive and old olive. You can't tell a difference at all. This was old olive for the outline, and then old olive stamped off once for the inside. And I can see more of the detail there. So that's why I'm going with that one. This I could still use for something else. Um, but that was my thought process. So to just leave a little tab when you cut it. And then we can glue it right behind. Mmm. So cute. All right. Now we're not done. So behind each one of these, we're going to have like a little scene of something. Um, so actually, I need that wild wheat again. So we'll do wild wheat and copper clay. I'm going to start in the middle 
and I'm going to use this little leaves from, um, this is from the pick a patch. All right. So I just want a couple little background bits. All right. That the co that the truck is going to sit under or on top of for each one. All right. So then let's add some copper clay and I'm going to turn my leaves a different angle. Now I don't have to worry about the center because that's going to get covered up by the truck. Yeah, this was a really cute t-shirt. Um, but I think it was like a baseball style t-shirt, which is uh, not my fave. Okay. Hey, Sharon. All right. So this truck is going to go right here. Oh my God. So cute. All right. Now we need some uh, more pumpkins and I had some of these mounted. Okay. We're going to go with these. Um, and again, it's just to create like a little background behind this. So we'll do pumpkin pie. And I can go right there. And again, this is going to go like right there. Hmm. Let's do, let's add another pumpkin to this because that can climb all the way up there. We can have a stack of pumpkins. Oh, that's going to be cute. All right. And then I'm not really going to worry about um, oh, you know what? That's covering up. That's so dumb. Ha! How did I land there where it's perfectly covered up? All right. So that's this guy's going to go there. So we just want like more pumpkins, right? Actually, you know what? Let's do um, some stamped off. Ooh, put my finger right in that. And this is just to like give it some color and a little background. It doesn't have to be legit pumpkin backgrounds. I just wanted something in there. All right. So we've got that, our pumpkin background. Oh my goodness. Our fall one. This is so cute. And then I want trees. So for this one, I was going to bring back in the little, this was from what, a year or two ago, the trees for sale. Rose, hey, you are late. So you missed just one card with a straw. And then this stinking cute thing, which I've already decided this would be much easier to do with die cut letters. But I used all the, uh, I used some different combinations from these to, to build that. So and actually, I need the happy out of this. Where are you happy? All right. Is that it? Oh, no, that's friend happy. Yeah, there we go. All right. So trees for sale. I wanted just like, um, some small, the small trees, small and medium. And I should have got those out, but I didn't. All right. And I want the outlinies and some specs. So I'm going to bring back old olive and do some stamping off because, you know, I want this just to be like a backgroundy kind of thing. Specs and four different blocks. Let's do that. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's see if I can do these both in one fell swoop. All right. I want that there and that there because, you know, I want it to be peeking out from this tree or from the truck. Let's do that. Okay. That I can get in one, one stamp. All right. Old olive. And I'm going to stamp off once and stamp it down. So any other tree you had would work. I just wanted something the right size. All right, and then let's do this and that. Put these on top and one block for those. 
So, and then I'm gonna do full strength. Oh, cute, cute, cute. I love it. All right, and then I want some uh, light blue. Actually, let's do boho, cause that's easy to grab. Just do some, um, yeah. Yikes, gotta be careful when you get ink like that. So we got some nighttime stars. And I'm gonna clean this off. Okay, oh, this is so cute. Happy Hallow Thanks, Miss. That's what we're gonna get here. All right, so I can, before I mess this up, let me uh, wipe my hands off again because ink is getting crazy. Mm. I'm going to mount this to the black. So I chose wild wheat for the card base because it was the middle color. I thought that would draw our eye better. All right. Keeping everything kind of centered. All right. Yeah, Penny, I'm definitely going to look and see, um, for some red. All right, now when I attach these, so I want to pop these up. I need a new batch of dimensionals. Uh, I'm going to start with the center one and then go with the other two. Work my way out. Oh, so cute. So I'll have to remember whoever I send this to, this counts as all three holiday cards. So I don't have to send them a Christmas card. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Penny, no white. All right. So let's put these in place just so I get the spacing. That's all I want. And then this, oh, cute, 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 cute. I feel like I need more, this needed to come out some. I gotta fix that. Cause that's getting totally covered up. And I need it to peek out from that truck. All right, clean this off and then add that. I know that looks wretched, but it's going to get covered up. All right. See there. Oh, cute, cute, cute. And remember the middle was kind of like right there. All right. So I'm going to put this one on first. Now dimensions, I mean, dimensions, embellishments, I think I'm going to go with iridescent rhinestones because it goes with all the colors. All right. Just want to carefully put that on there. Oh my God. This is so cute. You guys. Yeah. I don't know where she found it, but it came up in her feed. We were at pool, I think, and she showed it to me or she may have tagged me in Facebook. I can't remember, but yeah really cute idea. Now I can see now I should have had some trees down there just to fill it in, but you know what? This is our first attempt at this. So I think it's pretty good. And I had to go slim line because I needed all that extra space. I didn't want to jam these trucks together. Ooh, ooh, that almost stuck, you know? All right, let's do that. Looks like I didn't get something centered because this is closer than this. All right. Did I rip anything? Uh, maybe a little. All right. That's good. Oh, my God. That is so cute. All right. Now I'm just going to glue this flat on my uh, card base. And I'm going to do the happy. 
um, because these trucks are all popped up. Rose, this is just for you. All this glue. <laughs> oh, thanks, Deborah. Yeah, I'm going to have to find Jamie's post then and at least add the picture, like get a screenshot or something and add so you guys can see the inspiration. Oh, my God. That is totally cute. All right. We need Stella in the mirrors or the windows. All right. And now happy. So I've got my happy stamp. Um, oops, I need a different block. All right, let's put it on here. Now the color I was thinking, um, I can just stamp it right here and kind of overlap it. Happy hollow thanks miss, but then I don't have anything over there. I'm going to have to live with it because I was going to stamp it and of white and just cut it out, hand cut it. But you know what? We're going to go for it. I'm going to stamp it directly on here. Yeah, they do look like ornaments. That's what I was saying, Sean. I may have to make them ornaments on purpose. All right. I'm going for it. Happy Hallow Thanks, Miss. Oh, that is perfect. All right, let me clean this off. I wish I had something to fill that spot in, but I'm just going to have to let it go for now. Unless I want to put all my jemmies there. Mmm, so cute. All right, where are my iridescent rhinestones? Here we go. So yeah, think about the word stamps that you have, or like I said earlier, the dies. You know what? I can just put a cluster of gems here. Would I be okay with that? I'd be okay with, whoa. All right, big one. And then I'm going to put two over here. All right, so big one has to go on this huge glob of glue. And then we'll do um, a medium one. And then let's do another big one. Taking up space over here. And then we'll do two little ones up here. And it doesn't matter that they're right on top of the pumpkin. It's has nothing to do with that. It's just there for sparkly. Okay. Um, I love it. So, yeah. Jamie uh, gets extra credit for finding this idea. So, yeah, a pumpkin with some leaves in that corner. Oh, why didn't I look it up that look up at the screen? You're right, Rose. That would have been nice, or a rake or something like, or maybe something Christmassy. Put another tree, like drag it down. But I'm okay with it for the first go. So yeah, I love it. Happy Hallow Thanks, Miss. And you couldn't, you know. This was all like in the same color, but it was, I thought it would be neat to just match the colors to the trucks that we had, you know, for the, for the seasons. Um, so, mm, I right, love that. Uh, now for another, let's do a little treat. So we've got, um, and I needed candy for this and I forgot to go get some. So we're just going to have to make do. So this is our pile. So imagine you want to have something for like, to hold two little nuggets. Oh yeah, Rose, maybe that for sale sign in the um, trees, trees for sale or the dog. Ugh, missed opportunity. Um, so we're going to make a little truck box. So you need two trucks and this is where you really need the punch out because um, we're going to have the trucks like this and then we're going to make a box to be in the middle and, you know, glue it in between here. So if you were to stamp it, you could only stamp the one that you would be that would be facing you the one direction like this one you know you could do it with mirror stamping but easier just to punch everything out so we've got two truck bases 
um, all the hubcap bits or fenders, whatever these are, fenders, I think. Yeah. And then four wheels and two um, windows. So this one, we need these to go opposite directions, right? Because they're going to be like this with the box. So we got to flip that one around. Um, now we can do, hmm, I should like ink sponge the, uh, the edges here. So let me do this and grab a sponge dauber that isn't too dirty. That looks okay. I don't know what was on there. So I'm just going to go, you could ink blend as well, but I just want around the edges of this real red just to make the edges stand out. And actually something this tiny, I think a sponge is better than the, the ink blending brushes. Just easier to deal with. I know I feel like we have so many tools and it's like, do we really need all the things? Uh, I think the answer is yes, we do because they all have different purposes. All right. So I'm going up over there and got myself. You could also uh, do these edges with your markers, probably. Why not? As long as you can get it even. You know, you don't want just the edge. You want it to kind of define the whole shape here. Oh, cute. So yeah, my plan was to hold at least two nuggets in this tiny little thing. But I think it might work for miniatures too. I just kind of guessed when I figured out the box size. All right, there's that. Yeah, good. All right, I'm gonna rinse this out later. All right, so let's glue these together and then we'll make our box. So I think I'm gonna start by, I think I wanna glue the wheels on and then we'll put the fenders on, yeah. So let's do glue, 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 glue. And actually I want the, the tires to be flush with the back. All right, so let's put these on. And these on. And I don't think it's critical that we have like white on the inside of the tires. I don't think that really matters. Um, and then the window, I think it goes that way. Yep, With there's like a little slanty piece. So that goes towards the front of the windshield. So let's put that on and then we'll flip it over for the other to make the opposite. So I think just this punch out truck is cute too. All right. And then, mm, cute. Now I'm not going to pop these wheel, um, the wells up or what are these called again? Is it the fenders? I'm not sure. I think it's got enough lift with it being on top of the, the tire. But if you want to pop yours up, pop yours up. Oh, man. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. And it doesn't take terribly long. I mean, of course, I already had this all punched out, but... That's one reason I like punches just a little bit better than dies. I mean, you know, they all have their place, but punches are just so easy, you know, punch, punch, punch. All right. Now we need a little box. So here's going to be our, our side pieces. So we need a little box. So I started with a one and three quarters by two and three quarters piece. And actually I got to flip my notes. Um, Cause I was kind of guessing at the size of the, the nugget. I wanted the box to be 
um, one inch across by two inches up and down. <coughs> then I figured, how tall can the sides of the box be? Well, it can't go beyond this, like the width or the height of the actual, the truck bed. So that's about a half an inch. And I thought, well, that is from edge to edge. So that's two, I can't do a half inch because that will be right on. So we're going to do three eighths of an inch. So three eighths inch, we're going to score at three eighths inch around on every side. So that's how I ended up with one and three quarters by two and three quarters. All right. So three eighths on all four sides. Yeah, Sean, miniatures, yep. Ooh, yeah, put them in an angle so it looks like the truck is, yep, really carrying them. All right, so now we've got just a basic, like the bottom of a box, a one piece. So we cut straight and angle, and angle on the side. So we've got our teeny tiny little tabs. All right, straight, angle, angle. So again, we're like cutting around that score mark and then we turn it around. Same thing. And then we're going to fold this. And I just use glue for all of this, for all my assembly. This is a case, if you were using the red sticky strip, Getting something strong enough on these tiny little flaps is going to be a problem. So that's why glue is really your friend here. All right, so I'm just folding everything and burnishing. Yeah, look at that. It's right after nine. So, yeah, it's a good thing I knew um, we'd only get through three things. All right, so now this is going to come together like this. So I want glue on these two tabs and just bringing it up so that they are, we get a decent corner. Oops. And it's not, don't worry if they're not perfect because it's not like we have a, a lid that has to go on this. This is like an open faced sandwich with just the bottom. All right, let's bend that out and then we'll do a little glue here and here. Get these corners together and then those. Can I hold everything together? Pushing from all the sides. All right, I think this is good. Good enough. So we have this wee tiny little box. It looks very much like a little matchbox. All right, then all we're gonna do is glue this. So the wheels are actually gonna keep this on the ground. So I wanna glue this so it is just below the truck bed and the, um, the engine part. So see right there, all right. Oh, Penny, you love my nails? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Gail and Sue, they really got me into the color street. All right, now I'm just going to hold this in place. And I'm just eyeballing to make it straight. And I've got about mm, less than an eighth inch there. And the truck part or the engine part is a little bit taller anyway. So that is definitely straight. Oh my God. And see, you can't see it from the side. All you see is the truck. Oh, made me think of Outlander. Why? Because of the Outlander or Highlander? Because of the plaid. I always like the little names they have. These ones were called breaking plaid. All right. Now this, I want it to be glued in the same spot. So I'm going to glue. And then... I'm just eyeballing, but oh, that looks, oops, not quite right. That looks much better. Oops, too many oops. All right, there, I think I've got it. 
It's a little tall, but anyway. Oh, hey, wait, that is a little tall. That's crooked. That's going to have to come off. All right. Because we can't have our truck leaning. Oh, you know what? How about let's try this? Ah! Let me just put it down here. There we go. So you'll figure it out when you're um, putting your your side pieces on. But, ah, uh, so cute. Right? Teeny tiny little box. And that's it from the front. Think of like a sleigh, too. You could, If you had a sled, you could make something similar. So just a tiny little box, too. And that feels like it's crooked again. It's That one's just going to be a leaner. Yeah. It seems straight, but then I set it down. It's good enough. But, you know, little candy bits. And I don't really, I don't have any candy. But actually, let's see how big. So that's the dauber. Um, just so you, you know, size wise, but it's a one by two box. All right. So cute. And of course you could make these in any color you want because you can punch out from any, any papers. All right. So we've got that. That's it for tonight. That's our little, our little treat truck. I'm going to have to figure out how to get a good picture of this in the light um, with some candy, but then we've got our, our slimline Hallow Thanks Miss card. And then our um, sliding card that we used a straw for. So, Rose, I ended up doing a straw. This is a paper straw. I had the string going through this one at first, but it was too floppy. It was not even. like. So I added this one and put the string up there just so it's all like one length or, you know, the same height. So cute. All right. So, um, mm -mm. Next week, oh, I moved all my stuff. Ugh. So next week is going to be a Stamp-A-Stack class. Uh, I think I'm going to be going with Merriest of Trees. It really, it depends on the inventory, right? Um, I wanted the Shining Brightly, but then that's out again. Um, so I think it's going to be Merriest of Trees. And it's going to be a Stamp-A-Stack because I only have one night that I can do a card class. So... I can only do four cards, you know, in one session. So that's how, if I have two nights to have a class, that's when we can have eight different cards because I can do four and four. Um, but so this will be another stack. And then November will be another stack because, again, I only have one night. October, November, you know, this is busy for everybody. Mm. So um, stamp a stack next Thursday. And then the following Thursday, which is the 26th, I'm going to be doing um, projects using the Marion Bright paper. It's in the, I didn't get the stamp set that goes with it, the cute light bulbs, but the paper is good for two ways. Like it's not just Christmas. When I first saw the paper, I thought, um, Ooh, this is good for like birthday and you know, like any occasion. One side is definitely Christmas, you know, like fa la 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 la. But on the back side, it's like just polka dots or something. So I've got some good ideas for that. Ooh, I wanted to show you uh, quick the cards that I made. Um, so I've got, let's see. So remember I made the the faux sidestep cards as one of my workshop um, cards with the Moody Mauve? Well, I had some scraps of the paper left from the one horse sleigh. So I made these. And remember, Penny, you asked like, oh, can you put paper on the inside? You totally could. But of course, you said that like after I had already put it on the back. So, yeah, you could totally put it in there to write. But I love that. This is a Coastal Cabana. And then I used the, uh, one of the basics embossing folders on the back. And then embossed these trees in white. I love it. And then this was an old, that evergreen folder. And then this mousse. This is a die cut that I have. And I can't remember who, what the company is. Um, I want to say... Gina Marie Designs or Tailored Expressions. I'm not sure. Um, but these, again, were just the scraps that I had. Um, and I thought, you know, they work. And then I added some of the gold snowflakes. And I inked around this mousse. So, yeah, I love that. Um, then I made this just yesterday for, and I haven't posted. This was for last week's 
craft roulette challenge. It had to have tartan. So I used the tartan plaid. It had to have a fall scene. So I used some of that paper. It had to have something wrapped. So I wrapped this ribbon all the way around that top layer and stapled it. And then it had, um, oh, the project was card for a teacher. I mean, you know, card for anybody, really. So, yeah. Awesome. Oh, Penny, you have the moose punch? Then that would work. I think the moose punch is just a little bit smaller than this die cut. And I also have a bear, too. Um, oh, and that bear punch is out until, like, the first week of November, if anybody wanted it. Um, so, Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Um, I hope you're inspired to make some of these, you know, truck things. There's a lot of other ideas. I haven't really looked, but I know there's a ton of ideas for this trucking along bundle because it's been so popular. Um, but these were the ones that came that I wanted to make. So that's it. All right. Thanks. Um, and I will see you next week. And Sue will see you tomorrow night and Gail on Sunday. All right. Um, good night, everybody. Bye.